Stand by to launch FanStream Sports. Three, two, one. Let's start. Hello, sports fans. Welcome to FanStream Sports. Nothing, nothing but pure sports. The Baltimore Ravens fans, Andy Cartim here with your Baltimore Ravens Daily Blitz for Tuesday, January 31st. Welcome into the show. Welcome into the program. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please share this video with your other Ravens fans. Um, we're all set for the Super Bowl. The teams are set. We will be enjoying, maybe, hopefully, enjoying, depending on who you root for, the Eagles and the Chiefs in Super Bowl 57 coming up on February 12th. Make your plans. Get your party together. Get ready to watch some, hopefully, exciting football uh, as those two teams prepare for the Super Bowl. But for the Ravens and for 29 other teams, they're simply preparing for another offseason after probably, depending on who you are, a disappointing season, right? If you're the Ravens, certainly a disappointing season. Uh, making the playoffs, but you had to do so without star quarterback Lamar Jackson and, of course, his status now with the team up in the air. But at least from a financial standpoint now, uh, the Ravens and other teams have an idea of how that offseason will look money-wise as on uh, Monday, the NFL – uh, network announced that the league had informed the teams the salary cap for 2023 would increase by more than $16 million over 2022's number. That cap number being roughly $224.8 million for next season. Of course, John Harbaugh is reviewing his coaching staff for next season after the departure of offensive coordinator Greg Roman. The team will also be evaluating players of course as there's a number of free agents not the least of which as we mentioned the situation with quarterback Lamar Jackson will he return to the club will he go elsewhere will he be franchise tagged will he be franchise tagged and traded there's just a number of different scenarios surrounding the Lamar Jackson situation uh, but if you look at the salary cap situation they should have money to pay him uh, spottrack.com records that the Ravens roughly have about $28.8 million of cap space to work with with that 2023 number. Might fit in nicely with the Lamar Jackson contract if that indeed happens. Uh, the franchise tag, I haven't looked at. I'm not sure what that figure would be. Probably between 45 and $50 million, I'm thinking, for a franchise tag for his one-year tag number. But either way, general manager Eric DeCosta's got some things to think about, some players to look at. Uh, in addition to Jackson, you've got cornerbacks Marcus Peters and Kyle Fuller that are free agents. Tyler Huntley is a free agent. Sammy Watkins is a free agent. So lots of holes to fill, lots of uh, places to look on the roster, all the way up and down the roster on both sides of the ball for DaCosta and company to start looking at next year's players and who they may want to bring in. Uh, we'll have more information, especially keep you up to date on the Lamar Jackson situation as it becomes available. Make sure you are checking ravencountry.com for all of your latest Baltimore Ravens news, information, analysis. We keep you up to date over there. Uh, kicking off sort of a relaunch of the site starting February 1st. So hopefully you guys will go check that out and give us a shot to be your one-stop source for all things Baltimore Ravens over at ravencountry.com. We'll do it again. Until next time, boys and girls, we'll see you.